Hello and uh, welcome. So let me show you what I've been working on uh, these last few weeks. This is uh, ion chromatography system I am trying to put together for anion and cation analysis. Uh, this is an older system and I had to dig around eBay to find good deals on used equipment. But I still hope to get decent chromatogram like this one here. Uh, more on that later. Uh, so briefly, much like HPLC, ion chromatography is an analytical technique based on ion affinity with the medium inside a colon, like this one. The solution to be analyzed is carried by a mobile phase, pushed by a pump, through the colon, and each of its components come out the other side at a different retention time, and are picked up by the detector, in this case a conductivity detector. I did not mention the guard colon or the suppressor for the sake of simplicity. So this is a qualitative and quantitative analysis. Ion chromatography are widely used in applications ranging from environmental labs, nuclear power plants, and medical labs. And now I have one at home. Okay, cool. But uh, what is it good for? As the name suggests, ionic species can be detected. Here's a few examples of analysis I'm planning to carry out. Fluorides and nitrates in drinking water, and verify how good my filter is, iodide in table salt, nitrite in processed foods such as salami, bromide in sulfate in different kind of rock salt, and more mildly interesting analysis. By the way, if you have any ideas, uh, suggestions are always welcome. I've also purchased a standard to build a calibration curve and to quantify these anions as accurately as possible. On the cation side, I'd like to uh, try for all of these metals and the uh, ammonium ion, also, I would like to go for the lanthanide. In a previous video, I observed the distribution of these metals in uranium and thorium ore with a mass spectrometer, link in the description. So I thought it would be nice to compare results. Since uh, lanthanide standards are more expensive than the equipment, I found a different supplier and purchased them individually, which allowed me to uh, determine their retention time one by one. Although this would take a very long time, since the colon physically separates each ionic species, it is possible to obtain extremely pure chemical by timing their arrival precisely. And I'd like to attach a mass spectrometer at the end to make a very useful ICMS, but uh, this might be a project for the far distant future. For now though, this instrument seems to be working fine, and the last piece I'm waiting on is the control software, and uh, this might be the single most expensive part of this project. As you can see, this is still a work in progress, so stay tuned. Let me know in the comment what you'd like to see analyzed. If you like this project, thumbs up, subscribe if you wish, please check out my Patreon, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Damn it.